Hello everybody, welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, The Enhanced Edition. I believe we're on episode 5 now, including the, uh, the Twitch live stream that I did. Right, and I think last time we were in the process of picking up the other companions. I think we just picked up Jahan. So now we need to pick up the, uh, is it Wolfgrim, he's called? Alright, so excuse me, we're going to have to do this again. I know that you can't see this on the video, but there is a line that goes across there that keeps appearing every time I, log it, I load it up. And in order to get rid of it... That will do it, I bet. It seems to do. Yeah, it's gone. No idea what it is. <laughs> right, so we might be able to kill uh, two birds with one stone here, I think. Alright, we need to get down and get Wolfgrim, but we also need to... Looks like that dog is awfully agitated. Yeah, I know. He wants to tell us Let's have a word with you. Uh, so many stand yes, still. Please do hey. I was wondering where that awesome sweaty boots that was coming from. <laughs> and here you are. Wow! This is great! I'm Murphy, Jake's dog. Wow! You smell great! <laughs> Have you been rolling around on bed things all day? That's my favourite hobby too. About your master's death, boy. Oh. If I ever find out who killed Jake, the most awesome Jake who ever jaked, I'll... I'll... I'll bark so much! Seriously, so much, you have no idea. Well, Tell me about yourself, boy. You know who I miss? Jake. Sometimes, he just sit there being awesome. And I'd give him this look like, you smell great. And he'd give me this look like, you do too, Murphy. And he was my best friend. I came here so I could smell Jake again. He smelled great. But whatever's buried there doesn't smell like Jake at all. No. It's definitely not Jake. He was awesome. Okay, I've got to go now, boy. Right, let's just uh, dig up Rest in peace. Jake's grave. Where are you, Jake? Are you playing black? Why does Johan need to speak to me? This dog we met. How true a creature he is. How loyal and unwavering in its affections. His master is dead. But not even this, not even nature's great betrayal of life, stops his warm-heartedness from beating. Animals. Dog and deer, elk and eagle. We burden and butcher them, wretches that we are. These pillars of creation, we topple them, though their spirits are so very pure. They... They do not scheme. They do not deceive. Perfidy. That is the human condition. This kind, this trusty beast. He is man's best friend, though man does not deserve one. Oh, that's very true, that, Johan. I must agree. Our oh, humans are but vile creatures when you get down to it. At least animals are still one with nature. Animals are not better than humans, just don't know any better. Quite a difference, that. Hmm. Oh, that's quite that wise so... words. To approach humanity with the same distrust as one would approach a grinning goblin is to be ready for the stab that is to follow. I know, for I have lain on silken cushions in marble palaces, and I have lain on wet leaves in soggy forests. Vastly do I prefer the latter. Oh, the occasional thorn may pierce your skin, but at least you are aware the sting is not that of a poisoned needle hidden by aspiring rivals. In the animal kingdom only one is free. Beware the wolf, yes, beware the bear, but their rules are honest. The kingdoms of man, they are built upon the blood of the ones not strong enough to lay claim to power. This dog, it is a creature worthy of your affection. The ones you see around you, the men and women of this world, they are not. That's very deep, Jahan. Very deep. Right. Coffin. Examine. 
What trickery is this? That's not Jake. It's a Jake? rotting sheep's corpse. It seems someone Jake? snatched Jake's Jake? body. Ooh, let's Rest talk to Scarlet. Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. Oh, we've got to level up. Um, it's easy enough to gain new strength when one is carrying the entire team on one's shoulders. I suppose your example has inspired me. There we go. That inspiration hardly flows one way, my friend. Right, let's have a quick look at this before we go any further. Uh, I can't quite remember what I was doing with uh, Roderick. So we've got witchcraft and geomancer. I think he's okay on those at the moment. I wouldn't mind putting one in bodybuilding. Uh, yes. Let's do that. And all skilled up gives you text two extra ability points. We'll have to get that. And there we go. And we can increase. What shall we increase? Witchcraft? Where are you, Jake? Yes, let's increase are witchcraft. Probably made completely the wrong decision there, but it is what it is. Uh, let's do our ability first. Jake? All skilled up. Where there you? we go. Are you here, Jake? Jake? And skills. And we've got three. I'll definitely increase pyrotechnic. Nothing we can do there. Might actually save that point. I smell may the seven keep you. What oh, can we do law master? No, I can't do law master. Yep, yeah, I think I'll save that point for the time being. Let's go back to Roderick. And before we head back to find out about that body. Jake? So we dug up Jabe's coffin and found that his sheep rather than Jake's body was buried inside. Clearly someone made off with the body, but who's who and for what purpose? It is imperative that we find out where the counsellor's corpse was taken. Okay, so we'll need to visit the uh, mortician for that. But, let's carry on with our continuing quest to find the other companion. That shovel has proven worth its weight, it seems. Enough to finish this mission with a long vacation in the tropics, gazing side by side at a burgundy horizon, if we're lucky. Right. What's that one? I remember something about that one as well. Well, never mind. Carry on what we wanted to do. I think we need an episode or at least have some uh, some kind of fight in it. Uh, what have we got here? Nada. That's a rat. Ooh, stay there, stay there. Let's get this in straight away. Can... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, well. We'll do that anyway. Get the old tank spider on the job. Uh, that's you done. I need to move you out a little bit. You are but hinting for my triumphant place. Okay. Spider side. Why can't he? Target that. Okay, not much to do. Oh, come on. Start missing. Um, Medora to the front. Power stance on. Ok, 
Can we reach with that? No, we can't. Not yet. Can still do that one. There we go. Mighty staff. Nice. Oh, this might hurt. Oh, what's up with him? These healing uh, skellies really annoying. Um, give Spidey some extra power. Can't do that one. Let's do this one. Fireball scroll. Let's see if we can get this. No. Don't want to use that then. Go, Spidey. Thank you very much. And move you to there. Medora, please knock out this undead mage. Thank you. Hope that worked. Yes. Um, battery. No, I don't want to do battery ramp. No, I don't want to go over the fire. So we'll move slightly over there. Can finish you off, I think. Yep. He's out of range. Damn it. <laughs> Try to resist this worm. <laughs> okay. No, she can't hit that. Need to move out a little bit. Line of sight, Nick. Line of sight. Not enough action points now. There we go. And it's done. Did we get any loots? Iron ore. Cursing arrow. Gold. And a light crossbow. And we didn't check that. Rope. Okay. Bit of crafting to come up then. Alright. Take this nice and steady because we've got a a flamethrower dude up here, if I remember correctly. Yes, there he is. Spidey. See if that attracts him. No. Damn it. Yes, got it. <laughs> I'd rather use the Spidey to instigate combat. It makes it much easier. Right. Uh, Get you on him straight away. He might, and if he damages the spider, that'll be poison, which will ignite, which might explode him, which is a bonus. Uh, what have we got here? Let's put that on Medora. Run out of AP here. Oh no, we can hit him. Nice. Uh, will that heal him? Let's do it on this one instead. I invoke the fervor of flame. It's all her AP gone, apart from one. Move your hand up. I 
That's what I like about the spider, it, it makes a really good tank. Oops. All right. Come on, spider. Move him next to that one, it damages both. Become one with the air. Yes. That's good when he's on fire. Let's try that as well. skills for these guys. No, don't, no, 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 don't do that, he's going to explode. <laughs> uh, sit back a minute. There we go, I knew that was going to happen. Let's put that there. Pretty easy. Right, let's get on to uh, Roderick. Let's get some of this stuff. Let's have a look what we got there. 18 armor. Oh, it's better than what we're wearing. We shall equip that. Identify. I like this now. Then used to. To have to transfer that over to uh, Scarlet's inventory. Or I, I think that's what we used to do. And then identify it and then transfer it back. But now you can actually do it from here, which is ideal. Uh, right, we need to keep that for a certain person who we're going to get. Ooh, a 46 armor. Let's pass that over to Midora and see what she thinks of that. Oh, I think she'll have some of that, don't you? Much better. Get that 
to Roderick. What's that? Uh, I'll leave her with that one handy just in case I give her a one handy skill as well to put a shield alone. Make her into a tank. What I do? I don't know. Because we do need a tank with Because we're both casters. There's the sheep's corpse. Is that it? Scarlet. Where in. Oh, six. Ouch. Center Scarlet. <laughs> and I think that's that. Right, let's go and see if we can find a wolf room. Yep, there he is. Uh, right, so what we need to do is have a quick word with your hand. I assume you address me for a reason, so go on. Speak, and undoubtedly I have answers. So a quick conversation with your before we send him off. I'm intrigued by your love for animals, if you don't mind my saying so. You don't quite seem like a loving type. You are right and you are wrong, Hunter. Right precisely because I was wrong. As you long have guessed, the wound that ever bleeds was inflicted unto me by one of our species. Though in many ways, she was beyond human scope. My station was a high one once, until I was brought very low. I learned among the dregs that men are the same everywhere. Whether they approach you in a back alley reeking of sewer, or the jasmine-scented corridors of royal castles, they smile at you warmly like friends would, as they fondle their daggers' hilts behind their backs. You are right that I lost affection, but I found it again among the beasts, among the stray cats and street dogs with whom I shared my all too meager meals. Over time, the deer of the forest no longer fled when I approached. Birds would gladly perch upon my hand and eat from my palm. I found among them a serenity unseen amid humanity. There you are wrong, because for them I harbor a vivid love indeed. Where are you from, Jahan? I am not from any place anymore. I go where my quest leads me. Besides, the name would mean nothing to you. The glorious city in the glorious kingdom where I was born. I remember them well, the sandstone castles, hewed like the very sun that batters their battlements without rest. I can see them still. The fountained gardens and halls of pearl-colored marble inlaid with gemstones set in shapes of plants and beasts. Yes, I can see them still. Though when I try to focus on their details, like mirages, they dissolve upon approach. Time. It frays the foundations of memory. Why do you hunt demons? For a thousand reasons, and for one especial. The thousand obvious ones are list with pleasure. The special one, that is my secret to keep. Should party members really keep secrets from one another? Hunter, I could find you cross-dressed under the spell of a dominant goblin, yet when next we'd meet there'd be no questions asked. I have my secrets. Undoubtedly, you have yours. They are ours to keep. I'm afraid you will never find me cross-dressed under the spell of a dominant goblin, John. One, their scourge taints the natural world. Two, their machinations irreversibly corrupt minds. Three, their perversions seek to end all beauty. Four, their schemes unhinge the fabric of space and time. Five, their presence distorts all intrinsic harmony. <laughs> Many hours pass before Jehan stops enumerating his reasons. You are very sorry indeed that you asked. <laughs> okay, right Jehan. 
please leave for the present. Do you now? You Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, Wolgraf. You see a shady looking figure fishing coins of gold out of the muddy water that pools beneath the well overhead. His movements are quick and nervous, but nevertheless, he seems to enjoy stuffing what cash he can find into the many pockets of his shabby garb. So absorbed is he in his coin hoarding that at first he doesn't notice your presence. Suddenly, though, he pauses, looks up, and quick as a cat in its talons, readies two daggers. Your friendly tone of voice has immediate effect. The man quickly relaxes his aggressive stance, sheathes his weapons, and pulls a quill and a scrap of parchment out of one of his pockets. Dexterously, he writes down a couple of phrases, then holds it out for you to read. Mew, can't speak. You look professional. You the source hunter the wizard asked for. Excitedly, the man turns over the scrap and pens a few more lines. Name's Wolgraf. I admire you. No hero like Source Hunter. Sorcery or dead end. Please let me join you. If you'd like to join me, I need to know a bit more about you. Wolgraf nods enthusiastically and pulls a couple of ripped parchment pieces out from his vestments. Hastily, he covers them with words and pushes them in your hands, one after the other. Been mute since I was a kid. Sorcerers took my voice. People think I'm stupid. I'm not. Get money, food where I can. Steal if I must. Not from poor folks. I'm a good sneak, good fighter, good with locks. See things you've done. Want to help you. I'm useful. Want to catch sorcerers. Make them pay. Please. Oh, you're joining me. Eagerly catches your gaze with the best puppy eyes imitation he can muster. <laughs> Be welcome, Wolgraf. Riches await. You'll obtain them for us. Wolgraf smiles and shakes your hand in thanks. With a gesture of the arm, he seems to say, I'm ready. Lead the way. Right, so there we have Wolgraf. And while we're down here, there is one more thing we need to do. If I can find the way. I think it's down here. Yeah, we're not going into this place yet. I've got decisions to make now about who I want to be. Careful! Whoop. I've spotted a trap. It's a trap. Uh, let's have a look at that. New recipe, homemade shop. Okie dokie. Has he got any trap stuff on him? No, he hasn't. Uh, in which case... Oh, I can get past that. I don't need to. Let's move that over there. Come on through, boys. I right, can check that now. Oh, damn Careful. it, I didn't pick up I've all the... Uh, all the coins, what I should have done back at the where we picked Wolgraf up. Um, check that. What? Damn it! That's a bit nasty. <laughs> right. Just for that. Oh no, 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 no. If I blow it up, that will blow that up, which will release that valve. So we won't be doing that. Heal thyself, Scarlet. I might have Jahan back, I definitely need two healers in the party, that would be nice. Sweet relief. Right, has this one got a trap under it? No. Go back, get in single file. They've seen the trap, so they shouldn't trigger it. That's the way. I 
And we don't have anybody who can use ones either, which is a new thing. In the enhanced edition, they weren't in the original. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what class that is, but we haven't got one. It's quite a fruitful journey down here. <laughs> Take all that. Identify. Fifty armor plus ten HP. Quite strength six. Medora. That is a Warcraft. Right, Medora. Yes, increase. You can have that. Centre Roderick. Warcraft. 18 to 29, it's better. So to Roderick. Ah, there we go. Right, we need to go to the end of time. And into the Hall of Heroes to make the decision. What shall I do? Now, I like having the tank with me, which needs healing. I also like having a rogue. I like having a uh, bear daughter with me. As the trap come unlocking chess character, uh, I might have to fit that in with something else. Because I do like to have two healers in the party. It comes in very handy. Right, we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go with uh, Jahan, I think. Right, so let's have a, a swift word with Wolgraf. You call to Wolgraf. He awaits your queries. Wolgraf gives a curt, disgruntled nod and doesn't move. There we go. And there he is, straight back here. I assume you address me for a reason, so go on. Only fools believe. Wise creatures know. <laughs> All right, we'll give it, a, give it a chance with three casters. Do you think that sounds viable? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> With a tank as well, yeah. I think we should be okay. We've got two healers, we've got a tank pet as well. Right, let's head back down to uh, Sicil North Gate, is it? And I think that will bring us to the end of this episode. So we, oh, hang on, we need to be spoken to again. I will finish that first. Ah, how intolerable it is to think that all the knowledge of the world is being gathered by an imp. A creature that is no more than the result of a, a demon's bowel movement imbued with the breath of life. And yet I am a tad jealous of that jabbering little jester. To know all. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. Well, which way shall we go with this? There is no such thing as too much knowledge. We are looking to have found zigzags. To know everything is to take away all wonder. No, that aspiration is not mine. Hmm. Um, I'll go with... There is no such thing as too much knowledge. You the day you lend your trust to anything that is demon-touched. But this particular specimen, it delights in scholarship. A quality, I must admit, that highly speaks to its advantage. Let us learn, Hunter, whether you like it or not, and through wisdom grow ever more mighty. 
Indeed we shall, Jahan. Indeed we shall. All right. So we will leave it there, folks. Uh, I think we're uh, where are we up to with this. Yes, right. So we need to next episode. We need to go to see the mortician and sort that out. What's this? Uh, we also need to talk again with Unsinkable Sam. And we can't answer that question yet. Why did she say we deserted her? That's something we'll have to wait for the answer to. Alright guys, don't forget, if you like the videos, leave me a like and subscribe. And if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. I'm always open to uh, criticism as well as praise. This is all Grace, signing off.